group of 37 major American companies and their leaders are coming together to advance economic opportunities for black Americans. This coalition is called 110. Why? Well, over the next 10 years, it seeks to train, hire, and promote 1 million black Americans. That's the 110 who do not have a four-year degree into, quote, family-sustaining jobs. Partner companies include, it's a well-known group, American Express, Delta Airlines, Nike, Target, and Walmart. First on CBS This Morning, co-founders Ken Frazier and Jenny Rometty join us now. Ken is the CEO of Merck, and Jenny is the executive chairman of IBM. Good morning to you both. You know, this initiative was just announced moments ago, so really appreciate you coming in to share the details with us. Ken, I'd like to start with you about the selection criteria, because I think many people are fascinated that you don't necessarily have to have a college degree here. Yeah, so first of all, good morning and thanks for having us. You know, the challenge that I think many Americans face, and it affects black Americans in a particular way because, you know, only about 20 percent of black Americans have a four-year degree, is that many times companies require four-year degrees for the kinds of jobs that really do not require a four-year degree. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to urge companies to take a skills-first approach rather than a credentials uh, approach which will eliminate some of the systemic barriers that African Americans have faced. And if you look at the data, you can see uh, that there's a huge disparity between opportunity and wealth between black families, which have on average about $4,000, and white families that have about $140,000. Yeah, so the numbers. that's what we're trying to address. I know, Ken, I saw those numbers this yes. morning. I, I, I honestly, honestly, I thought it was a typo. And it's been my experience, to be honest with you, that book smarts don't often uh, translate to skills or even your intelligence in some cases. But Jenny Rometty, I, wa I want to know, exactly right. yeah, you've gotten a lot of prestigious companies to sign on board. What was your elevator pitch to them to entice them? Well, I think the elevator pitch is that we all need talent and there's a large talent pool in America we're not tapping into. And as Ken said, skills first. And We've been at this at IBM for almost eight years, and we're a great proof point of this. Um, now, after working hard and adjusting our job requisitions, which is one of those structural barriers to address, we no longer require a four-year degree to start for 43% of our jobs. Now, 15% then were people that represented this skills first group. And uh, as I was sharing with Ken, we've had our first PhD now out of the group. Mm. So this idea that it is not a lack of talent, it's just a lack of access. And so one of these structural barriers we remove is giving them a new pathway into our companies. And I would just add to something Ken said that it isn't even just a job. We really believe these can be upwardly mobile careers. Yeah. And therefore, we really do break a cycle. Ken, Ken you've said uh, that we've been at these defining moments before and we've let them go by. That, with, that essentially corporate America has made what you call pacification payments. How is this moment different and is it really different, do you believe? I do believe it's very different. I think that uh, this group of, of CEOs are very interested in not passing the challenges, the historic challenges, on to the next generation. I think we also recognize, looking forward, uh, that this is going to be a more diverse country and the workforce is going to be more diverse. And if we're able to take advantage of all the talent in our country, uh, we can strengthen our economy and we can eliminate some of the racial and social barriers that we worry about in this country. So I think it is different. I think this is a moment in time. I think after the whole George Floyd killing, mm -hmm. these conversations were happening across kitchen tables as well as boardroom tables. I'd like to think it's different this time, Ken. You know, this seems very intentional and specific, Jenny Rometty. This question for you, are you worried about being accused of excluding people? Well, look, we view this as a startup, and while we're starting with black Americans, we are also going to move to other underserved groups. But like any startup, you have to start somewhere, and we're going to start with a group that we believe should be at the top of our list. And I must say, this idea that we're all going to do what we can do best, which is provide economic opportunity and jobs. And I think when we do that for one group, it actually benefits all of them, because those barriers we'll remove, we remove them for everyone. All right, Jenny and, and Ken Frazier, thank you so much. Listen, this certainly warrants further conversation. I hope that we can do this. There's so much more to unpack here. We thank you very much for starting it off with us this morning.